In this video, I'm going to show how to upload a website to your web host. The website that I'm going to upload is a website with a contact form on it, and I show how to make this website in another video. I created this website using Visual Web Developer 2010 Express. The reason I'm using an older version is because it has a smaller project size. If you use a newer version, the project size might be too large to upload to your web host. After you upload the website to your web host, you're going to have to open up the web.config file. And you're going to have to change the connection string to point to the database on your web host. Currently, this connection string is pointing to the local database on my laptop. For Visual Web Developer 2010 Express, the websites are stored under Documents, Visual Studio 2010 Websites. This is the contact website, so right-click that and send to Compress. This will create a zip file of the website, and then I'm going to move this into my downloads directory, and I'm going to upload it from this directory to the web host. This is my web host. This is the sample database that I created on another video. I'm going to go to my files. All of these files and directories were created when I created the sample database in another video. Except for this test directory. This test directory holds a SQL form that I showed how to create on another video. The SQL form is going to be used to enter database commands to create the table. So I'm going to open this up open up the SQL form and I'm going to enter in the command to create the contacts table in the database and run this. And I just created the table in the database. I'm going to reset this and I'm going to enter command to look at all the tables in the database and run this. So as you can see, this is the contacts table that I just created, and this people table that was created when I created the sample database. I'm going to go to my files. I'm going to move this file and this file into a temp directory. So I'm going to create a new directory called temp. Create the directory. And I'm going to, this is a directory I just created, and I'm going to cut these two files, and then go into the temp directory, and then paste. So later on, you're going to have to look at this web.config file and take the connection string from here and then put it into your new web.config file. So I'm going to go back up one level. So this is what the directory looks like now. Now I'm going to upload the website. So I'm just going to click on Browse. And I'm going to go to the download folder where I put the zip file. And that was uploaded here. Now I'm going to unzip the contact file. So select this and then press unzip. And say OK. Now if you see down here, you created a contact 
folder and that's the unzipped file. What we want to do is go into the contact directory. We want to copy all the files in this directory to the root directory. But there's a problem with the copy system on this web host. I'll show you. If you try to copy, for example, the account directory, I'll copy that. Then you go to the root and then you paste. You'll see it says that it copied it successfully, but it didn't copy it over at all. So I'm going to show you a trick on how to fix this problem. Go into the contact directory, select all the files, and create a zip file. I'm going to name this contact temp, and then I'm going to zip this up. Okay, this will create this contact temp.zip file. Now I'm going to cut that file. Now I'm going to go to the root directory and I'm going to paste that. Okay, now all we have to do is to unzip this file and it will correctly create all the files in the root directory like we want it to do. So I'm going to unzip. Now you can see that it created all the files. So you can see all the files are here now. And I'll show you that the account directory was copied over and all the files were copied over with it correctly. So that little trick makes it easier. Now what you want to do is go into the temp directory. This is where you put the old web.config file and edit that. And now you want to copy the old connection string. Copy that. Go back to my files go to the root directory and go down to your new web.config file and edit that. Now you want to paste in your connection string. Now I'm going to copy this put this name here and then I'm going to change the name of this to something else. You could delete this if you want. I'm just going to keep it here with a different name. This is the new name of the connection string. So this is the connection string that you need for connecting to your web host. And this is the connection string name that you need here. Now you want to save this and go back to my files. Now I'm going to test the website. So go to my files, right click on this link and open a new tab. And the website comes up correctly, so that's working. Now I'm going to test the contact form. So that worked correctly. Now I'm going to check to see that the data we entered was entered correctly. So I'm going to go to my files, go to test, I'll right click this link, bring it up in a new tab, click on SQL. This is the SQL form that I created in another video. I'll enter this command. This will select all rows from the contacts table. I'll run this and you can see that 
the row we just entered was entered correctly, so it's working.